So welcome to this session and uh, in this uh, liver segments, I'll tell you how we interpret liver segments on ultrasound in relationship to the QNO classification. Now, if you see to this uh, picture, uh, this is how liver is placed in the body and uh, you can make out uh, this upper part is superior and uh, down is inferior and uh, this uh, which will be in the front will be anterior and as we move back we see the posterior part. Now superior and inferior demarcation is by the branches of the portal vein. Now the portal vein you can see here it is dividing into the two branches and that demarcates superior and inferior. So above it we have superior and beneath it we have inferior. Wherever you see hepatic veins and especially in uh, major chunk you know that you are dealing with the superior part. Okay. Now <clears throat> Let us go on to the basic classification of the liver into lobes. Now, we know one is the uh, caudate lobe, uh, which is somewhere here, and caudate lobe is uh, close to this IVC part here, and it is separated from the left lobe by this fissure, which is known as fissure for ligamentum venosum. So one is caudate lobe and then we have right lobe and left lobe. Now how right and the left lobe are demarcated? Now superiorly we have hepatic veins as I told you and these are the three hepatic veins. This is the middle hepatic vein, this is the left hepatic vein and this is the right hepatic vein. Now middle hepatic vein divides the liver into right and left lobe. So middle hepatic vein is here and just posterior to it here we find is the right lobe and on the other side we have the left lobe. So right and left lobe demarcation superiorly by middle hepatic vein and inferiorly as I told you uh, it is at the level of the branches of uh, the portal vein or um, much easier way is to see the gallbladder and a line passing from the gallbladder right towards the center separates the right lobe from the left lobe inferiorly. So here beneath the gallbladder we have the right lobe and above it is the left lobe. Now there is a term called quadrate lobe Q quadrate lobe that is different from quadrate lobe. Now quadrate lobe is a distinct lobe but quadrate lobe is a part of the left lobe only. Now left lobe and right lobe they are further divided uh, divided into segments. What are those segments? Now superiorly we have this left hepatic vein which divides the left lobe into two segments. One is here and that is known as medial segment and the other one which is here is lateral segment. Now one thing which you have to keep in mind is that although midline of the body is somewhere here but we call this as medial segment and this as lateral segment. The reason is this is the midline of the liver and closer to it is the medial segment. So we have medial segment here and lateral segment here. Now medial segment is also referred to as quadrate lobe. So quadrate lobe in the superior part is just anterior to this region that is a middle hepatic vein and in the inferior part just anterior to the gallbladder here we have quadrate lobe. Another way inferiorly is as I told you at this level the division of the portal vein into two and from the apex of the left branch of the portal vein we have this falciform ligament and falciform ligament is dividing again the left lobe into two segments inferiorly. The segment which is here anterior to this falciform ligament here that is the lateral 
and the one which is here just beneath it posterior to it is the medial segment or quadrate lobe now let us go on to the segments in relationship to the cuneo calcification and uh, let us see this uh, picture here and uh, here you can make out this is the left lobe part and this is the right lobe part and we have this quadrate lobe quadrate lobe as i told you will be somewhere here and as we move from quadrate to left lobe we just move anti clockwise this way so as we move anti clockwise we have first 2 3 and 4 so this 2 3 and 4 are segments of the left lobe so first we come across 2 3 and then 4 okay let us go on to this cuneo classification and we can make out 2 3 and then 4 has a as well as b now how we interpret these on ultrasound let us go on to that part okay so 2 3 let us go on to this as we are moving this way we have 2 is superior we know and 3 is inferior so here let us see here superior as you know that at the level of hepatic veins we are always going to get superior part and we know this is the left hepatic vein this is middle hepatic vein and this is the right hepatic vein so left hepatic vein is running in the left lobe and it is dividing the left lobe into segments so left hepatic vein is here and it is dividing into these two segments let us go on to what is this this is segment number 2 so we come across segment number 2 first and then as we move from here to here this part will be segment number 4a so 2 will be here and 4a will be here so let us here 2 and then 4a so 2 and 4a are in the superior part we can make out 2 and 4a and hepatic veins are telling you that this is superior part so we move from 2 to 4a now let us go on to the inferior part so inferiorly what is there inferiorly we have 3 and 4b let us see here so at the level of falciform ligament or at the level of gall bladder we can make out the inferior part so let us see here inferiorly this is falciform ligament so first we have this this is 3 segment number 3 and then we move on to this part from 3 to here inferiorly that is 4b 4b so in the left lobe we have segment number 2 3 and 4 and out of 2 and 3 we know 2 is superior and 3 is inferior 2 is superior and 3 is inferior so 2 at the level of hepatic veins we have first 2 and then 3 is this inferior and we could make out 2 and 3 are basically representing the lateral segment of the left lobe and what is 4 representing 4 is representing the medial segment or the quadrate lobe and quadrate lobe superiorly is 4a and inferiorly is 4b and superiorly for example here we are going to get 4a and here we are going to get 4b so this is the region of 4b and this is the region of 4a so this finishes the left lobe now we go on to the right lobe now before that let us have some uh, uh, revision in the revision you could make out superior portion why because we are seeing right now the hepatic veins middle hepatic veins divide middle hepatic vein is dividing liver into right lobe here and left lobe here and then left hepatic vein is dividing the left lobe into two segments 
this is the lateral segment this is the medial segment and medial segment superiorly this is the medial segment this is the lateral segment so medial segment superiorly 4a so this is 4a this is lateral segment superiorly superiorly lateral segment is this and this is segment number 2 now let us go on to the inferior part here let us see this you know classification and here we can make out inferior part this is the quadrate lobe inferiorly quadrate lobe inferiorly this is the quadrate lobe inferiorly is 4b so we have this 4b here okay now <clears throat> Once more here, let us see this part. This is the quadrate lobe superiorly. So this is 4A and this is the quadrate lobe inferiorly which is 4B. So we could see this slide and we could see how superior to inferior this child will be strolling down. So that is how the left lobe segments are labeled from superior to inferior. Now, let us go on to the right lobe now and when we go on to the right lobe, see here the child is now here at the base inferiorly and now the child will move up. So we are moving from inferior to superior while we are labeling the right lobe segments. Okay. Let us see here. So we have these 5, 6, 7, 8. These are the segments of the right lobe. Now, here we could make out that the inferior are labeled first and then the superior part are labeled. In order to understand this, this is how an ultrasound picture is there. An ultrasound picture in longitudinal section, you know that this represents superior, this represents the inferior side. Now, if we move uh, clockwise from here to here, let us see here. First, is segment 5 which is going to be inferior and up means anterior on ultrasound up is anterior and down is posterior so this is segment number 5 which is inferior and anterior then we move down down means posterior on ultrasound here and since this is on this side so this is inferior and posterior and then we move here clockwise again 7, 7 is, now we have gone to the superior side, 7 is superior and down means posterior. Then we go on to this and this is up, anterior, anterior and superior. Let us relate with this picture here, 5, we could make out, it is inferior and anterior. 6 is inferior but posterior see here this is inferior but it's going back so it is posterior then comes 7th seventh. 7th seventh again here 7th is posterior and superior so we have up superior and it is going towards the back so this is superior and posterior and then we have 8th which again towards the anterior side anterior and up means superior. So this is how we interpret the segments of flavor ultrasonologically and in relationship with the you know classification. See this picture and try to interpret what we are seeing here. Gallbladder means we are seeing inferior part and just next to the gallbladder, just beneath the gallbladder, we have segment number 5. 5 is telling you that this is inferior and anterior and then we have this segment here that is 6 which is posterior and inferior. See this picture? Let us see. We know that hepatic veins are there so it has to be superior part and uh, this hole is the right lobe. Right lobe anterior segment 
and posterior segment. Let us see uh, here anteriorly, anterior one here, right lobe, anterior and superior. So this is anterior and superior. This is segment number eight. This is superior but posterior. So posterior and superior. This is segment number seven. So this is how if there's a pathology here, you label that it is in segment number eight. If it is here, it is in segment number seven. Let us see this picture. Here we are not seeing hepatic veins, but still we can say that this is the superior part and this is the right lobe and this is the posterior part. How? Since we are seeing the heart here, we know that we are getting a superior section and we all know that this is the right lobe and this is the right lobe posterior part. So right lobe posterior and superior, what it will be there? So this is the right lobe here, right lobe, posterior has to be these two, one of these two and superior means segment number 7, so posterior and superior seven. So this mass is in segment number 7 mainly and going a little bit up as well. So this is how we can interpret the things, that's all, thank you.